Hello viewers, how you doing out there? I hope you are doing good. It's me again on a few year crew from Exa Graphics and Multimedia. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get a realistic gold using Corel Draw. Realistic gold in Corel Draw can be easily get either you can either you use Corel X4, Corel X5, or Corel X6. Those three software I made mention are very easy to get a realistic gold. Alright? But before we get the tutorial started, I would like to remind you one or two things. Please, if you have not yet you subscribed to this channel, quickly do it by come to this video channel and click on this place to subscribe. Having done that, then come to the comment section down below here and put down your comment below and let me know what you feel about the content I'm bringing back and bringing life to you on YouTube. All right? Having done that, don't forget to also click on like button if you like my video. So let's go back to the tutorial and get it started. Alright, here we have Corel Pro. This tutorial I'm using Corel X5. You can use Corel X4, X5, X6. It's very simple and easy to get a realistic goal in those three Corel I mentioned. So the first thing we have to do as far as this tutorial is concerned is to create a new document by go to file. When you click on file, then select new. Alright, a dialog box comes up like this, then name your design. Realistic goods in Corel. All right. The next thing we are going to do is to come to this place and turn it to pixels. Then we come to the width, select 1280. All right. Come to the height, select 720. Once you are done with your setting, then everything should be in landscape. Then once you are done, come to this place, select 300 resolution. So once you are done, then you click on OK. Alright, the next thing we are going to do is to convert this page to a landscape. Alright, because this is a portrait format, we come to the menu bar here, click on the landscape, it has been automatically turned to landscape. The next thing we are going to do is to create a page border. Come to your tools bar here, double click on the rectangle tool, the page border will be automatically updated. Are you following? The next thing we are going to, the next step we are going to take is to fill our background and fill it with black. Having done that, then you can now go to your text tools and begin to type. Click on the text tools and take your mouse to the work area and you type gold. Alright, press Ctrl A to highlight the text, then come to the font style. So select the font style of your choice. For this one, I'm choosing this one as my font style. Then come to this place and select font size. Selecting 36. Okay. So Go back to the big tools and accept it. You can change color to white. Alright. Then press P to centralize it. Alright. So the next thing we are going to do now is to fill our code. Let me change this font style. I don't like it. Let's see this one. Okay. This one is, is nice. Change the font size to 100. Okay. Press P to centralize. We have to reduce the font size. Go back to the font size. Then type the new figure. I'm choosing 85. Okay. Press P to centralize. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to fill the realistic goal. All you have to do is to come back to your menu tools. I mean your tools bar. Click on fit tools. When you click on fit tools, the dialog box will pop up. Then select fonting fill. When you select fonting fill, another dialog box will pop up. Then come down to this place select preset when you select a preset then you look for your gold plate
okay i'm using cylinder good o3 okay select it very this way then when you get to this stage now you can change the color you can modify the palette by clicking on this place then scroll down and pick the color of your choice from this place i'm turning all the white to this thick yellow finally this stage so once you are done with your color setting you can click ok you can come to this place change it to radia depends on how you want it to look like but in this tutorial i'm choosing linear all right then once you are done with your setting you click ok finally this is how you get your realistic goal using Corel x4 x5 x6 in Corel Draw. This is a very simple thing to do. I hope you learn one or two things in this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.